Oh, okay. Time to get going. Uh, real dad redemption. Starting now. Um, feels like it's been a while since I've played this. It has. Been a few weeks since before I took a vacation. That was two weeks ago. So. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even then, I think it had still been like a week before since I last played it. So. Uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hop back in and do some stuff. I remember where we were, surprisingly. Um, basically, we are getting geared up, uh, right before we go and try to take on Mr. Bill Williamson. He's, uh, one of the next steps here. I think we'll probably get to... What the hell was the name of that place? Fort Mercer? Is that it? Uh, we'll probably do that today. But before that, we've got some final last-minute preparations to take care of, so I'll go ahead and do that. And you know what? I forgot to pull up my chat here, so I'm going to see if I could do that real quick. While I uh, do that with one hand and walk off here with the other. Hey, there we are. Cool. Walk off here with the other. Okay, that's cool, but I didn't want, I didn't want the speaker on. If at all possible. Oh god. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that advertisement. Um, so let's see. Who do we got that we can do something with? We got Seth. Funny man. I think he's the guy writing the novel. Uh, Mrs. McFarlane and Irish. And I think that's it. Uh, last time we met up with Mr. Dickinson, and I think he tasked us to, uh... Is that guy on fire? Oh no, that's his horse. What the hell's going on? What is this? Oh, okay. Ah, you know, just one of them things. Sure, I suppose I could have helped, but, uh, I don't know. They were already making a bit of a scene, so didn't quite feel like adding to it. Uh, let's go see Seth. And we could take our lightning-fast horse over there. I was playing just a little, little bit of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Not much, but I booted it up again just because I had it uh, in the Xbox. And I'm like, why not? I forget why I was playing it the first time around. Obviously, it must have been sometime after I was had streamed this game last, but... Uh, maybe I was trying to do the challenges or something like that? Anyway. Yeah. Completely different feeling game, if I didn't know that already. But... Even just that one little... 40 minute to an hour run that I did, that was... Vastly different than, uh, Anything I've played here. What's going on? Hello, hello there. Howdy, Miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Okay. Think a little harder. Oh, uh, yes, I think so. I was just about to ask that. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. I remember her. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. Oh, wait, no. I don't know. Maybe no, I could be remembering that. I'm not too sure. Miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So, uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? <laughs> oh, no, uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, uh, I get such clarity out here. 
I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. <laughs> and full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Oh, of course not. She has faith. Well, take care then. The Dutch would love her. <coughs> okay. Help Jenny by bringing her medicine. Do, uh... Do I have any medicine? I don't recall. I do. Okay. Well, you are in luck. Because with your faith, uh, it made me purchase this medicine. Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <laughs> Maybe not now, but soon. Jenny's faith complete. Okay. You just do you. And I'm gonna do me and I'm gonna get the hell out of here, so. Let's go. See ya. Ooh. Can you still, like, trip and slam into things? I say still, but... <laughs> I should know. I feel like that was something new to two, but... And then again, some of these things I don't recall so well. Hey, that was a snake. Uh, I wonder if it's still over there. You know, it's the damnedest thing. I remember doing some of the challenges, and I remember... Uh, rattlesnakes and such being... Really hard to find. So, where was that? Part of the problem with uh, riding so damn fast. Controller batteries are low. Uh oh. I just had. Oh, you know what? No, it's been a while. <laughs> I did just have these plugged in about three weeks to four weeks ago. But I haven't plugged them back in since. And mostly when I've been using this controller, I've had it plugged into my PC, so I kind of figured that it wouldn't exactly, you know, drain them, but I guess it did. So, oh well. Uh, I'm gonna get to Seth. Fortunately, there'll be a bit of a cutscene there, and then I will look for a USB cable of some sort. So, here he is. Excuse me. And get here, and yeah, I'll go do that. Let's take a look. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's quite a stick. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. Somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh, just in time. We didn't skip anything, did we? Because it sounded like we just cut him off. I don't think we did. Can I, uh, take my horse? Let's go. 
Oh. Hi. I didn't know this place was gonna be hostile. Yeah, sure. Give me a, uh, give me a sec. God damn it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna offer much cover, but sure, you're welcome to do that. like a silly me for assuming that uh, any mission in this game will be nonchalant without some sort of gunfight going on. All the way up there? Come on. Props to that guy for surviving that, like, two gunshots I gave him earlier. to uh, take cover for a second. It was the same button I thought it was, but it just wasn't working for some of the places I was trying it. Maybe I just had to get closer. What's up, it's drying. Welcome. Is there a guy gonna be bursting through these doors here? Uh, okay. Yeah, there was a basement, wasn't there? Also, thank you for the fall. Appreciate it. We're in luck. Are we though? Jesus, what? There it is. Really starting to fall apart. Oh. You really worked me up. I can tell. <laughs> I guess he didn't see that coming. I'm a little bit too upfront for him. There is a, uh, a staircase in here, right? Oh yeah. Let's see what we got. I'm trying to. Hold on. Strong piece of wood. They don't build them like that anymore. Yeah, let's try something a little more uh, brash. Oh, there's no door there. Never mind. Jesus. Hoping to get that guy first, but sure. You're gonna leave this in a box. I like him better dead. It's yeah, no. I found it. Put him down. Think you can just walk in here? Oh, there's a buzzing on the stream. Uh-oh. Hold on. Maybe... Kill them all, mister! Oh. I think I was that the first time around. Uh, that could be the cable. Speakers are on. God 
Damn, I'll be part I of it too. A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. It's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Oh, you're not gonna keep it? Honey, dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Oh, I's ready now. I just need to get Irish and I guess do something for Bonnie first. But if it wasn't for them, I would be ready. Oh. A lot more than I thought I was going to. Okay, so we can go mosey on over there, I guess. These uh, folks never really have anything all that great. Although, you know, I should go back in there and I should loot every corpse I find, but I don't know. Something in me is telling me nah. Okay. Okay. You know, I've had the controller plugged in before while I was streaming and... It never made a loud buzzing sound. It, I mean, do we still hear it? I can't hear it on my end, so it's strictly going through something. I don't know if it's going through the compressor or if it has something to do with OBS, but I can't hear it. It's not It's not in the mixer, basically. It's gone? All right. Gone because I took the cable out, but the problem with that, see, is uh, I don't know how long these batteries are gonna last, so I guess we'll just have to uh, wait and see. And then, uh, if that time should come where they die, which will probably end up happening, I will, I don't know, I'll have to hunt me some down, and then we'll have to stop the stream for a second. That's not gonna be real fun, but. That or that guy? He wasn't getting away real fast. I mean, if he had a gun, he probably could have taken him out real easy, but that was it, right? <laughs> he was so nonchalant about it, too. I wasn't exactly sure that that was the culprit, but yeah, all right. I doubt you'd be needing this. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Let's go. Okay. All right, well, my good deed for the day. Outside of helping what's-her-name. So I switched back to my Marshall's headphones. I don't know. I wasn't really uh, looking forward to doing some painful head exercises after the stream, so I already kind of dealt with a headache earlier today. I'd rather not do another one. That's unfortunate, though. I should have listened to the reviews on those other headphones. But, I don't know. They were cheap-ish, so I guess it's fine. I'll just use it for, like, music or something for short-term. Uh, but I'll probably just stick with the Marshalls for long-term use. I still gotta find some, uh, replacements for these, though, because they look like shit. I guess it doesn't really matter too much if I'm just streaming, but... I feel, I don't know, I feel embarrassed walking out with them. I took them with me to Vegas a couple weeks ago, and they're all tattered up. Everybody's got their, their beats and their, uh... Whatever other headphones are popular at the time right now. One of my friends was trying to sell me on those, um... <sighs> the new Apple buds that are Bluetooth and they're wireless. Oh god. That coyote just... 
phased into existence out of nowhere. Uh, but I feel like I tried them before and they were, I don't know, they were uncomfortable. Maybe my ears are too small for them, I don't know. Not my kind of thing. I, I typically don't use buds if I can help it. I had some nice beats ones that were given to me a while back and they were cool, but they didn't last that long. So longevity was a bit of an issue. It's not like if it was even that rough with them either. Just normal use. They probably lasted a year and a half. I wasn't going to buy another set. You know, Marshalls has some buds. I shouldn't. Nah, nah. It's got to go over the year. I feel like that's what's best. Although, one thing I did find out, and I should just invest in some uh, earplugs, because that'd probably be better, but if you're flying, I don't know if anyone gets that issue when you, uh, when the cabin pressurizes and you increase altitude, but, uh, I get that sharp pain in my ear. It, it's worse when you come down. Like, I notice I always get it when I'm coming back home, but, uh, when I was using headphones that were earbuds, I would never get that, that, like, awful, awful sensation, so, I don't know, they helped. Like I said, I'm sure it would be the same if I just had some earplugs, so... That's probably a cheaper bet than going to buy headphones, but hey, I might want to listen to music or something. Well, thank God we're at the McFarland's Rants because I'm uh, running out of shit to talk about. Here we go. You can help with the ranch patrols at McFarland's. Nah. That doesn't sound too, uh, <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, let's go. Amos. Get him in there. Come on, come on. Amos. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Yeah, that storm came in awful fast. Could have sworn it was clear in daylight when I came around. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna get me my wife and kid back. The past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Whoa there. You can fire a gun. That might work. We starting? Oh. Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. I don't know. I could have done it from the other side, but sure. Get your jittery butt back in the herd. There you go. Come on. I don't know. 
Still a little janky looking. I think we have to put it down. Oh wait, we lost another one. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Calmly walking away. Sure. Let me just go run in front of them real quick. All right. Ease up. Oh wait. That was only a momentary lapse. So bent on going past the barrier. Come on. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take your time. Yeah. Cow AI at its finest. a lot of leeway for uh, this guy being so far. Okay. Guess that's it. They know what to do. Good work. Now let's round up those stragglers. Well, they're getting on it. I feel like I need to hunt one. Uh, something bad's probably gonna happen if I fire a gun here. try and refresh myself with the uh, challenges. I don't remember exactly what you're supposed to hunt. But uh, I guess it's not too, too important. It's mostly just for outfits. The, the one I remember using the most was the one with the poncho. But I don't think you can get that until you're actually in Mexico. That might have been one that you find, actually. Not one that you craft. I remember having a hell of a time getting one of them too. I don't remember what exactly it was that I needed, but something wasn't easy. I guess that's the kind of thing you deal with, with, uh... Well, I guess Rockstar's open world games in general are kind of like that. A lot of the little side tasks. They can be, uh, they can be a little tedious. Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm still, I'm real close. I'm like a, sitting at 98% completion, but there's just a handful of those challenges I really don't feel like doing. One of these days I'm gonna go back to it and try to get those finished up, but I don't know. A little too reliant on uh, luck. And they're all in there. Don't need to be shouting at me for nothing. Pretty a decent rancher. You don't know my ranching skills. Oh no. Another Bonnie mission? Alright, hold on. Let's go hit up Irish first and then, uh. 
if this doesn't lead direct, I don't think it, I don't think any missions lead directly into anything huge. But if it doesn't lead directly into Bill, then on our way back we can take care of it. I don't know. I guess it's nice enough to uh, mix things up as far as the missions go. Here I was just talking about all of them pretty much ending in a gunfight of some sort, but at the same time I'm not too keen on like. Breaking horses and rounding up herds. Go. And the best things about Red Dead for me is, uh, oh, wait. Be able to jump that, or I guess not. I mean, the story for one, but, uh, the exploration. I always like games where you can kind of explore the surroundings. There's always like weird things to find. Horses swim in this game? No? <laughs> I was just about to ask before I got in, but then you just slid right in to the lake, so that's too bad. Well, I'm glad they corrected that, <laughs> that in the sequel. Horses could swim a little bit. It's not like they hit water and automatically die. Oh. See if that was a sequel, I would have tripped up already. Where the hell is Irish anyway? Okay, I'm able to get to. All right, he's in um, Thieves Landing. So, I'm able to get to him from this side. I was sort of thinking that I would have had to have crossed over into the, uh, sort of Blackwater area, but nah. Nah, we're good. Oh yeah, stamina. Just about to say, it's, I remember some of the uh, stranger missions in sort of the swampier area around here being extra strange, so... If I see one, I'm gonna see what he needs. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these... These wild fever few that uh, grow around this place, you know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and uh, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to wanna bring her a lovely bouquet for her anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. So bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Sure. Three wild fever few, three red sage, three desert brush. I heard that right? Well, I'm sure we'll come across it eventually. Oh yeah, I don't have a greet button here. I, in fact, I think, yeah. <laughs> the button that used to be the greet button is now the uh, point my gun at you button, so... Gotta get in the habit of not pressing that when I want to talk to people. Although that's one of the things that I kind of missed from this game that didn't, uh... Yeah, I don't think I trust that. Um, that I miss being in this game that wasn't enacted quite as good as it could have been in Red Dead Redemption 2, which was the quick draw. Sure. Isn't there four of them? Oh. Here he is. No, 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 no. This is not my horse. See what 
what you got on you. I sure hope you're dead, lady. <laughs> Me too. Alright, is that it? No. No chests or nothing like that. Yeah. Eh, trade a few bullets for a few dollars, not too bad. Wait a second, this isn't right. Oh, the controller died. That's what happened. <laughs> I was like, where did the audio go? Um, yeah, so that's about how much time I had left. So John's just going to keep walking. And I guess I'm going to go see if I can find some batteries. So give me a sec. I'll put a splash screen up or something. John, where are you going? Don't think you can walk in there with the horse. A uh, little bit worried to find where he's going to end up by the time I come back, but I guess we'll see. So be right back. Oh well. Almost died, because as we found out a few minutes ago, water is pretty lethal, so. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I actually figured he'd, like, have been dead by the time I came back. Well, lo and behold, I don't have any more rechargeable batteries, because I think most of those got lost somewhere, but, uh, I've got, like, a little shitty emergency pack of double A's, of non-rechargeables, they're like Sunbeam, so they'll probably last enough just for the stream, and then they'll be dead. Uh, but, you know, good enough for me. As long as it works. Okay. See you acting on your words, sir. Where are you? Oh, okay. We had another one over here. Sorry, ma'am. Wow, she had a lot of pistol ammunition on her. Where'd that guy go? He just hightailed it the hell out of here. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Blimey. <laughs> I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. 
Now get down there! Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. Ah, how are you? A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. <laughs> ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. What are they doing here, anyway? Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. <laughs> How about a drink or two, mister? Oh, he's had enough. Thank you, my dear. What you looking at? What you looking at? I can't see huh? to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricker and fine working order. <laughs> <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Ooh, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ! The church has more money than anybody. Easy, friend, don't go getting off the field. Where are we going, Your Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Steve's Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, friend, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble Tom's feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. You sure we got the right place? Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good for nothing, shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Um. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. <laughs> sneak in. Sure, we'll do that. All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Oh, on the ladders. Well, you know, I could have sworn I was trying to head for the door, but I guess it just really wants me to go over here. So we'll do what it wants.
I probably could just burst in there and shoot all of them, but... That didn't make any noise. I don't have the throwing knives, do I? Fist, lasso. I just have regular knife. Um, is there, like, a sneak behind someone and choke mechanic? Too late, I guess. Come on. Come on, John. Pick up your gun. There you go. seeing a door here. Okay, coming for you next. Oh yeah, I caught him on the reload. in here. Uh, John, we discussed this with that last gentleman earlier, but, uh, yeah, like slatted structures, not the best place to hide. going on with you Shoes and dance the blues. God, I was talking about let's dancing. He's like right in front of you, man. pills to calm your nerves. Shh, 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 shh. You'll, you'll get your half. 
more, you dirty fucking snake. Alright, gentlemen. Let's go. Fucking fuck. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gotta drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. I was wondering where the raiding party was going to be. Whoa. Jesus, we really the back there. That guy's just slipping all over that cliff. <laughs> Why did he get launched? I don't know if I can take much more of this. You're shooting right at me. You're a real cold blooded killer, Irish. Here come my damn bastard. I thought it was all cool on the bridge. Shoot somebody, Irish. Please feel free. Meanwhile, his saddle had an ejector seat on it. And here we are, right in front of McFarland Ranch, where we can do... Actually, you know what? Let me get in here real quick and get some ammunition. There we go. All right. Now we can do it. Options here, see what we can do for audio, sound effects. Music's good, but sometimes I feel like it overpowers the dialogue. Come on, let's see if we can find the old goat. Hopefully, um, dialogue doesn't get lumped in with sound effects either. Usually, there's a third slider yeah, for it, away. but. I don't know, this is 2010, I guess maybe they weren't thinking it, about it. I've got a feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. I got the ranch. 
Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the East and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? I don't know. You got vultures circling the area, though. So that's cool. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Gee up! Careful! Well, it's, you're the one bumping what into me. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did? We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize... The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Yeah! Let's go! No. Too busy looking at the barn, not many able to steer. Okay, now I can look at it. Wow. Put it out. Let's go on. There's no way in through the front. Is that guy doing jumping jacks? See if you can get in through the waters. Trying. What happened to that hole that guy made? He got the door open. I'm slapping. I mean, give me a second. Oh, okay. Let's go. <sighs> Do we want to like park it right next to the burning barn? Maybe move a little further. Chores, huh? Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. 
You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's been. Yep, sure thing. They're still standing. And good for them. Oh, jeez. Ah! Cow. Can now wear the duster outfit. Oh, yes. That was a good one, too, from what I recall. It's my horse. Oh. Probably just gonna ran over there, I guess. Ooh, he is fast, though. Surprised that dude didn't get trampled. Okay, all right, Joe, <laughs> for all of two steps. Slam into one of these side posts. Uh, yeah, sure, let's take a look. Gentleman's attire. Oh, we, do, we have that? High class attire allows you into high stakes poker games in Blackwater. Why don't I get that? Uh -oh. Wearing a tie. Can't trust a man with a tie. Uh, Want to duel an armadillo? Complete Twin Rocks hideout. It's a deadly assassin. That seems fairly easy. Anyway, uh, duster coat. Nice. Look at that. Not bad. Sure, we can uh, ride into Fort Mercer with that on. Come on. Which I think should be the next mission up here, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Marshall Johnson, I guess he is helping out, so. Maybe it's all yeah. part of the plan. And, uh, I'm just gonna do... Oh, well, thank you. A fast travel over there. Uh, no, not Thieves Landing. Armadillo, there you go. Sounds good to me. It's no more than like a two minute ride, but it's fine by me. Climb right up. I wasn't whistling for you. Hello. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, this again. They must have come around for another pass. They were riding in the opposite direction last time. Now they're just coming all the way from... They're coming from there, wherever they went. I should see what sort of armaments... Oh, okay. Or... I guess maybe he ran outside. Or to the back. There we go. <sighs> you ain't lying. Let's get that bandolier. I'll buy anything that meets my strict standards. What's that mean? So what kind of uh, plants do I have? I already got the fever few. I just need... I haven't found any of that brush or... Whatever the other one was. Red sage, maybe? Howdy hi. Howdy ho. I just got robbed. 
Hey, partner. Good to have My products are of the finest quality, sir. Mm, let's see. What the hell does that mean? Kentucky Saddler, eh? You know what? I don't think I've used the camp. Well, I've used the campsite once. Literally once. But I don't think that's enough to invest in the improved campsite just yet. I want to save my money. Maybe I'll get a horse at some point. Not too far off. I was probably a little bit closer before I was stopped in the gun shop, but I don't know. The bandolier seemed like a good idea at the time. Just got limping for. Hello there. Hello, Miss Mike. Good day. Another great day for lizards. Where is it strange? Oh yeah. It's right at the movie house. Let me go see what the stranger wants. Fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment. Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies, and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves' Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock? Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Who will have himself killed if you don't help? If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. <laughs> You're just gonna lie down like that, huh? Comfort at its finest. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we could do that at some point. I don't like gambling mini games in general. Maybe because I don't like leaving things up to chance too much, but... Eh, I guess what can you do? I remember how to play Liar's Dice. No, wait, I don't. But I remembered knowing how to play it. I don't have a clue. Alright, but well, it's gotta be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Excuse me? Uh, who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know, I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? She hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. 
Get out from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger. Remember that line was in the, uh, the ad for this game? Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Anything happen to her, sir? Come on, let's ride hard to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. Too late for that, John. They're like two feet behind. A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Yeah, I remember the sheriff there. He was a, I just hope he was a hard man, a but seemed like a good guy. Marlin, they saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. You got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, 
At least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. But I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. Was already here. That's how we started, but I suppose he doesn't know that. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Mars. Lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Don't make me stick a bullet in you. Get these ropes off me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought you spit on me? Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Well, we got someone up here trying to play sniper. Oh, they already shot deep. What a shame. Register. I'll drop the hundred fools like you. Bonnie, are you okay? By making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> okay. Everybody just leave old John behind.
That's not my horse. My horse isn't brown. Alright. Where did Marshall Johnson go? Oh, he's already at Fort Mercer. Alright. I guess it's time to get the party started. So, this will be our assault on Fort Mercer. Whole gang is going to be there. Got Mr. West Dickens. This Trojan horse of sorts. Irish will be there. Uh, good old... What the hell's his name? I already forgot it. Well, everyone's gonna be there, basically. What's going on? What are you chasing that dog for? Get out here. Let's go. Oh, that was a cougar. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Dead? I think it's dead. Where is it exactly? Hmm. Oh, hey, Red Sage. Yeah, we need that for the old man. Um. Couldn't have just disappeared. What the hell is it? Usually there's a little marker on the map, isn't there? Tells you where, like, dead animals are? <laughs> or is that not a thing in this one? God damn it, like, cougar pelts... I don't know, I feel- I always felt like cougars were more plentiful in this game than they were in the sequel, but... Still. You know, it's a nice thing to have. The hell did the goddamn thing go? I should have waited until it was out in a clearing. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna look up here real quick. Yeah, stuff doesn't just like, uh, you know, de-render itself. Maybe it dropped through the map. <laughs> I don't know, I've been seeing some weird things happen while I've been playing this game. But, uh... Yeah, I guess it's gone, or it's extremely well camouflaged, so... Oh well. Hey, I hear another one. Hold on. Where is it? What are you doing exactly? Punch your damn gun at me. There it is. Oh, 
That'll work. Cool. Two for one. Like I said, cougars, they're not as rare as they are in the sequel, but... It hurt me to leave that other one behind, but at least now we can uh, make up for it, I guess. No, don't give me spoilers as to what's going on. Let's go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. How did he get in the first place? And watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's <laughs> when he'll get us inside. I want to see that. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Escunce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. <laughs> Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. How did he get in again? Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and, and the let them keep their distance a little bit for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. 
And uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> It's a little slower than I was expecting, but... Surprisingly, it doesn't have as much accuracy as I was hoping for. Trying to get him, but you know. Issues. Fucking dang pig. Them cock sucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right. Why weren't you watching the other side of the fort? Or if you were, why didn't you do anything? We needed to see that. Thanks. Stay with me. This ain't gonna end well. The hell is that? Oh, it's like a rug or something. But it was like a man tied up. Who the hell's shooting me? Some cover be nice, partner. They got more than ten more of them. I'll beg you all down. Oh. Is that the marshal? How'd he get down there so fast? Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Get the end, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh Get the, the goddamn hell? gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good lord above. Oh, it's a good thing we have a fort. But then I realized it was inevitable. Come on, 
one who's coming out first. Okay. Some break dancing on his way down. Bill ain't here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I Marcy. It. Mr. Marcy, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. <laughs> Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. <laughs> you just meet sure. me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. Then just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Now they used to keep gold in there. I think I mentioned this when I first started playing this game, but uh, it was kind of right before this mission where I thought the game was actually gonna come to an end. I don't know. I don't think I had played too, too many. Well, no, that's not true. I'd played a number of Rockstar uh, open world games, I guess at this point. I don't know if Bully came out yet, but I hadn't played that one, but I'd played Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and, and San Andreas. Thing is, I never finished any of them. But it just felt like I was playing this game for a while prior to getting up to this point, so I actually thought the game was going to end here rather than much, much later on. So I was kind of surprised to hear that there was, you know, oh, there's a Mexico portion of the game. Oh god, not again. See what I tell you? Cougars, they are plentiful. So they can't run down the side of cliffs. I don't think he can, but he's he's coming for me. Where is he? Yeah. Here he was anyway. What the hell? There he is. Excuse me, dear. Nice. You stink. I would take a horse off the side of a cliff. <laughs> I wasn't. I uh, wasn't paying attention. Well, I was paying attention, but I didn't think that it'd be such a sheer drop. So. It's misleading, like right there. I thought maybe you could just slide down. Nah. I guess it just probably stick to the path. Okay. 
Let's go see Irish because I want to go. Man, I don't know. I, I guess there might be a secondary part where you have to get into Mexico. I don't remember this being the primary. I thought there was something else we had to do. Like, I remember something about a train and the U.S. Army. But I think what happens is you get to Mexico and then you have to come back. Or maybe trying to get there didn't work out the first time around. So you got to find an alternative means. I don't remember exactly, but something like that. But I at least want to try and get the Irish mission done and see this. Because I remember this one being somewhat interesting. I also remember thinking uh, when I played this particular section of the game, uh, it, it reminded me, or at least this mission coming up. I don't know if it's specifically this next one, but it reminded me a lot about the uh, outlawed Josie Wales. Which wasn't a bad movie, but not my favorite western, it was a Clint Eastwood directed one, um, from the late 70s, I think. But, it wasn't too bad, but I could tell in a number of instances in this game in particular that they were lifting a lot of concepts and, uh, set pieces from the outlaw Josie Wales. And then, of course, when I played Red Dead Redemption 2, I saw that they had a lot of, you know, similar situations, but from a different movie source. Wow, excuse me. Uh, that, that game seemed to take more inspiration from uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and this one took a little more from Outlaw Josie Wales. You know, it's a conglomerate and a number of things. Mostly, like, 70s, 80s, western-type films for the most part. They weren't doing the, uh, heroic white hat good guy stuff from the 40s, 50s, and 60s, like John Wayne westerns, but they're kind of doing the ones with a little harder edge to them. Uh, and then, of course, spaghetti westerns from Sergio Leone. Yeah, a lot of stuff was mostly <laughs> yes, from that one. That's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. So I've heard. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? Yeah. No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> because of men like him, it's the reason why the FDA exists. Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, gunfire. Jesus, they're shooting at us. Cut the rope. We'll drift down river. Can I shoot that guy in the face? Alright, I'll beach this boat at Tinder 
Sharks once we lose these sons of bitches. Jump to it, Johnny boy. There's a rifle at the back of the raft. I stashed some ammunition near the back of the raft. Grab it if you're running low. Oh, Springfield, huh? Well, I can't see him. That's like a major problem. There you go. This rifle's got some kick to it. Could even feel it in the sound. popular by about 19 no when was the Garand manufactured I don't know it seems more like a World War one kind of thing I guess we're getting there though this is 1911. Okay. See ya. Nineteen thirties, so closing in closer to World War Two. Springfield certainly was around for a while. Okay, yeah, maybe. It's not the best time to have a conversation. I don't know, they got such a height advantage and the raft keeps kind of veering off in the direction. I don't know that this is going to get me much cover anyway. But, better than nothing, I guess. Let's see if I could pop him from here. Oh, I could. Couldn't mark him, but I got him. I think that was a bird. Sticks of dynamite might as well be RPGs at this time. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes turn stone into butter. They would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor too. What's that, Polky? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for <laughs> Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato. The cat. <laughs> the of myself and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? More the sons of bitches. Buy that rock. I give up now. Oh, oh, we are Pretty sure I shot him in the head. Now nah, he's dead anyway. What, a dead. what do I care? For the love of God. Now, now, chasers. I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you can insist on fraternizing with the Nazi. Oh, 
and see the other one. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Back down you go. Is that it? friend <laughs> Got the on the earth. he almost made it into the water too That guy's gonna get shot a lot. Not that I mind. Shame you can't just like jump off right here. But John's so swimming impaired. Oh, okay. Man, too bad that didn't kill like the three guys that were standing right there. I guess one out of four ain't bad. Irish is doing somehow he's standing up back here and he hasn't taken a bullet yet. Or maybe I'll just stand behind him. How about that? I'll miss these escapades, Johnny Boy. I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. Sad truth. The current should put us ashore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend! We made it, thank the Lord. Boy, glad to be getting out of that boat in death trap. Oh, these horses look fresher. <laughs> And healthy. <laughs> what the hell? Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, I saw him shoot a man. Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? <laughs> no. You're so similar. Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a back ugly man, <laughs> but not a bad one.
Well, here we are. Go. LR. Landon Ricketts. Let's see what we already got set up here. Yep, down in Chuparosa and DeSanta. New items are available to purchase in the stores. Neat. So Mexico, from what I remember, is actually pretty cool. Oh. I don't remember this, but... Considering it happened a few times in uh, RDR2, I guess I'm not too surprised. So from what I remember with Mexico, I don't know, I, I like the look of it. I mean, obviously you can't tell much of a difference here, but there's a lot more canyons, cliffs, uh, natural structures. There's a section out here that kind of looks a little like Monument Valley. It's pretty nice. I think that's further out to the east, though, if I remember right, so I'm sure we'll come up across that eventually. But, uh, yeah, it had some style to it. Some deep little forts, other areas like that. But I actually like this section of the game, for the most part, I think, a little better than most of the stuff that takes place in the New Austin area. Actually, somewhat surprised we were able to get here so quickly because then I was thinking well wh what about the whole train situation it must be that we get back to New Austin and then we have to come back to Mexico but are unable to uh, I just don't remember how that happens but I remember how you get back via train in the army so that's cool oh yeah Chuparosa's up on like a hill. For some reason I was thinking it was the one that was like uh, at the base of a cliff. Am I still being followed by wolves, am I? I'm quite ready to do land and rickets just yet, but well, there is an auto save, but I need Oh, well, I guess every entrance here probably starts up that mission. Is there at least a save point inside there? Yeah, there is. Well, vacant property anyway. I don't know if it's for rent or for buy, but I got a, I got a few hundred on me. I 
maybe we could purchase it. So let's see this real quick and then I think we could call it a day. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> You mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. That was easy. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Guy berates me, then says he could teach me some tricks. That's well, cool. you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. 
It could be. This whole place is teeming with them. With Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Ah, now we can manually mark. Good. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Geese? Oh, another vultures. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I where, where are you going, man? Like me would have been long forgotten by now. Need help? I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life proving people wrong. You know, I was kind of expecting him to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I would have thought that he would have met up with Arthur at some point, but yeah, he never did. Um, he's, he's mentioned. I think he's in a newspaper. But that's it. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. I think he's mentioned in a paper and somebody says his name at some point. Maybe, um... Jack or... I don't know. I think he might be the subject of one of those dime novels. It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. Let me just shoot through your back real quick. That's fine. Alright, let's move out. Everybody stay alert. Is this guy coming with us? Oh. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talked real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. I think I just shot my horse in the head, but that's fine. He pulled through. Indestructible lamps. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm 
Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Three or three. Max dead eye. I guess I'll just park you right there. That should be fine. Okay, let's see where this property is. Hopefully we can get to it without uh, instigating another mission here. There it is. 200? Sure, why not? There's a lot of money though. Okay. Hey, Mexican ponchos available. Let me uh let me change that before I forget. Get a good look at it. We gotta dress the part if we're down here in old Mexico. Musty old poncho souvenir of your travels in Mexico. The souvenirs begin now. A little more ragged than I remember it being. Maybe there was another one. I don't know. It seems like in one of the silhouetted uh, outfits, there seems to be another poncho. Or maybe it was just that one. I don't know. It's a little crusty looking. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, uh, yeah, that should be good. I'm going to stop here and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. We could do something else. I think I want to try and finish up uh, Max Payne though because Resident Evil 2 is coming out and I don't know I don't expect RE2 to be a long game because if it's a straight 1-1 remake then I mean you could do you could do one of the campaigns in like five or six hours so it's only going to be one or two streams but um, yeah still want to make some room for it but we'll see what happens anyway uh, I'm going to stop it for now and yeah I'll be back tomorrow so Thanks for watching. Have a good night. See you next time.